welcome back to another edition of Toy Nuts. Now in this edition, I'm going to show you some finds I made first. I was in Kmart and they had these on sale. I picked me up uh, two of the Smurfs. I picked up Haxus, or Hackus and Vexy, which were my two favorites. And I can't wait for springtime because if you guys can see it, I have a pile of plastic and stuff sitting right here. It's huge. Oh my goodness, I hate these things. These remind me a lot of the old Smurfs. Now they're not, they're a lot harder plastic than the old ones. But here's Vexy. She's pretty cool. And you gotta love Hackus. Because he was just a riot in that movie. Who would have ever thought of a Smurf with red hair? It's awesome. And then while uh, out thrifty shopping, I found this Ultraman figure for a whole 10 cents. But that was pretty awesome. He's in really good shape. And then I made a score on eBay. My kids watched this show and I really liked it. And that was the kids next door. And there was the winter time number one. Now these are the action figure ones. I can't remember which number she was. There's the girl. And number two in his winter wardrobe. Do you believe that this was number three? I can't remember for sure. Or number four. Uh, little girl. Other little girl. I can't remember all their numbers. And the regular number one. And then I have a double of the little boy. And then there were some little mini PVC ones that came with it. Here's number two in the Tooth Fairy, fairy costume. Uh, regular number two. There's a dark haired girl ready for battle. one girl blowing bubble gum and a little dark haired girl regular one like that now as I'm going to be doing these next few shows I'm going to show you some of the stuff I got for Christmas I know I showed a couple things but I've been waiting for a while to show this I really wanted this bad I'm not a big fan of the uh, art vinyl movement but i seen this on Toy Break. It is the Mecha Whale. I'm going to pull him out of here. Do a little review for you. This thing is awesome. There's supposed to be a whole other series. Or a whole series of these. That will be coming out. It was done by uh, Deep Fried Figures. And here is the Mecha Whale. He's a 6 inch figure. He is fully articulated. Wrist joint, elbow joint, 
and I think that's about it on these but I love the weapons on it and it's in a mech suit there's supposed to be a killer whale a shark and a few other things come out in this I can't wait to see them uh, it was just an awesome figure and like I said I'm not big on uh, the art vinyls I mean I've started getting a couple of the pop vinyls and stuff this figure is just awesome they are still on eBay for like fifteen dollars plus shipping when they came out they were like fifty I wasn't willing to give up that much for it but if you can get on there and find find one for fifteen it's a heck of a deal uh, and don't forget Saturday nights we do collector stock with Optimus B last week was a really good show we had uh, myself and Doc Twisted, Overlord Toy Reviews, uh, Carlos Sutton Toys Finds, of course Optimus B, and a special guest uh, Count Stankus joined us Saturday night. It was awesome. So if you get a chance, check out that show. Uh, don't forget to check out the John and Ivan show. It's totally hilarious. I love watching those two together. Uh, don't forget to check out Doc Twistin, Count Stankus, uh, Overlord Toy Reviews, Carlos Sutton's Toy Finds, Optimus B, uh, my boy out in Cali, Ivan Ruiz. And uh, until next time, you never know what you're going to find or where you're going to find it. Happy collecting.